Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. <sighs> what else is there? Well then, what else, friends? Hmm. Yeah, let's talk to him. About Neethog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Well, good luck out there. I love Ratatasker. He's fucking hilarious. They're back! Simmer down, I see them. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow, okay, Heimdall. Let's see, never loses, sees everything coming, unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh... You mean we combine it with... That's right! And then, when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? Fuck is that? Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall? Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow harm to come to him.
Got it! I think. I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. We're going with Sindri? Hell yeah. The lady. No idea what he's on about, brother. See you out there. All right, here we go. This is gonna be fun. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh no! This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. Oh shit. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. <laughs> what was all that then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. Forging destiny. Love this. Thank you. All right, I gotta. Never mind. I was gonna say I gotta resist the urge to smash it, but I can't help it. It's so fun to smash all their shit. Our rage is built up. Oh God! All right. So, a tunnel oh. for liquor and explosives. What the? A little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Might have earned that one. There. We keep cooperating. Maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. 
Can't believe I burned myself on that fire. <laughs> what a noob. What a noobis. Oh god. What for? Well, I can see why it's an abandoned service. Careful, brother. That's flammable. Oh, God. All right. Um, wait. Wait a minute, is it flammable? <laughs> oh, see, we can get something there. <laughs> Maybe we can blow this up. Whatever, maybe I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm thinking about this way too much. God. Oh my. Okay, these are level fours. It's too fucking close quarters for me, man. Can't do it. Another oil spill. A fortuitous oil spill. Yeah, I'm gonna let that shit extinguish. Alright, you wanna go, huh? You know what? No. Grim, headed your way fast. The Alpha. Fucking uh, Sentry here. Sentry, is that you? Yes, I need to talk to Kratos. Yeah, yeah, this is. I know there's some stuff going on with um, 
with them and Brock. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. <sighs> Come on, dude. It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the face of Ragnarok and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against God and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. I'm glad that she sees us that highly. That means the relationship has definitely developed. What did I get for that? Nothing! There's so much flammable shit here. Oh my god. Fog of Fimble Winter. Oh shit! What if we upgraded it? Nah, the damage is still way better on Breath of Thamir. Or Thamir. Right, give me that health stone. Where there's a gear like that, there's usually a chain somewhere. The sigil arrows should work with ice as well. Oh! What the fuck? Fuck, 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 fuck. I think it's about to break. Alright, chain, chain. Right here, right here, chain! These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far picture. Alright, here we go. Hiya! It's open. Whoa! Hey, boy! One exploding smoke cloud can set off another, so make sure you've got a safe place to be before you set them off. A bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. Fuck! We'll need to get one of those gates open. Okay, how are we gonna do that?
Fuck, I really have to take a piss. Ah, we've seen these drops before, haven't we, brother? Oh, we can't pull that again. See some shit we can burn over there. What if we... Oh, wait, hold on a minute. That worked. Shall we? Freaking dwarves. This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the place is protecting your child. Here we go. One of these. Alright, where's that last one? Oh, it's over there. Oh my god, this was an easy one. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Um, maybe I shouldn't have talked shit. Sigil arrows won't work on this. There we go. Nice. Oh, I really need... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm sorry, y'all. I need to take a piss. I'll be back. <laughs> ah, shit. I'm trying to clean my controller. Alright. Let's go. Alka! Careful! Those Grim are possessed by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them. <laughs> Flanking us? A resurrection stone. Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. <laughs> yeah. Well, Tyr's pretty fucking giant. And we're up here. A 
I was trying to get us up here. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talk to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. Fuck. Still not where I wanted. Let me know if I can help with that. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, hold on a minute. Why don't we try a sigil arrow on the upper trough? That's a stop. Ah, teamwork. Oh boy. Oh bugger. There's two of them. And they're angry. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. Oh, uh, what about this? Should we do this? Oh, fuck. Never mind. They give us something good. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. How am I doing that attack? Wait, hold on. Okay, I gotta know how I'm doing this fucking attack. Where is this thing? I should do that. The returning storm. The whirlwind is fucking sick. Here we go. Um, switch stances by pausing momentarily. After any Leviathan Axe attack, 
Once a new stance, press R1, R1, R1 to perform a sweeping combo. So how is he doing that? Okay. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. I am definitely going to start using that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon. And to use it. Better be worth it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Falky! I wanna see what's up here. As long as you know that ain't the way to the fort. Yeah, I'm gonna trust him this time. Let's go. We're back here again. Take your fancy fancy shortcuts. Think I don't mind stretching my legs? <laughs> Catch up with any damn time I like. Yeah. Come on, Brock. Oh shit. Better take out that net or it'll be eyeball city out here. Above you. One day. Oh my god! Listen! You just made the last mistake of your life! Let go! Fuck, I screwed that up. I screwed that all the way up. These butts? No wonder they shut the door. Hey, Bunk here! Come on! Got something for you? How about a freaking please and thank you? The Gulan will zigzag before coming in for a bite. Dodge out of the way. We going that way? Can I get some health stones? Oh, thank you. I will take it. Whatever, whatever bit counts. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger! I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? <laughs> well, that ain't... You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Really? Really, man? That ain't coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get to it. Fire in the hole! <laughs> Okay, almost. Got something there. Can't believe they brought us back here. 
Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Got a lift here. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? That's what I am trying to do, Brock. Now we're talking! Hang on, coming around! Brother. Did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Okay. So we're going back. I feel like we should have listened to uh Sindri. That got the gate open. But you kinda need to be up here to you, you dig? Turn it. Copy that. Alright, here we go. Turn it again. Aye aye. He is the God of War. I gotta have a close stop to watch me. We can still order him to turn it. The fuck? Once more. Aye, aye. Look around. Find an angle. Take this what you do. Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Again. We need a new vantage point, brother. That's what I'm trying to get. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> ah, promising. Kind of fucked up for a moment there. Oh, no, 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 no. What did that do? Game's over. Come on through and get those cables. Oh shit. What the hell? I don't know how I figured that out. But I don't care. We figured it out. Oh. Yes. Hell yes. Well, I think they seen us. You want some of this? Then come get it, Tate. Finally, now we can ride on up to the forge. Come on, the lady's waiting. Got another riddle for you. What gets bigger the more you take away from? It? Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stomp the stomp. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, what?
Here we go. Ooh, that's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. Old truck to the rescue. Here we go. Fucking beautiful. So this lady then, the lady of the forge. Ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee high to a noken. But Sindri had never had it, said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, what is gonna happen? I'm really nervous. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Oh, fuck Knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady. What does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. Okay. So where are we going? The fuck? What are those centipedes? I got the material, Brock. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. <laughs> now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I pulled the drop. Time goes by and there's much to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. 
<laughs> this is gonna be fucking crazy, dude. What's gonna happen? Wow, Cody, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. Almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh. Hello? Hello? <laughs> the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. Speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! 
Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb! It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Forge. I want to read about that. Brock spoke of the lady with much reverence before our arrival. In fact, this mermaid is herself, the forge of this mountain. Her melding the pieces of the dro drop near spear was a sight unlike any I have witnessed. It is unfortunate she could not see Brock due to his missing soul bits. Fuck. Oh, we got a spear now. How the fuck do we use it? Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a swirl. <laughs> we got volunteers! <laughs> right side, brother! <laughs> the first weapon a Spartan learns. What the hell? Ain't this just like old times? I'm just like it's more for warning like that. Now. Oh my god! I can't find a patch on high! <laughs> I'm learning this. I'm learning this. This is fucking sick. Nasty hit! You all right, brother? <laughs> Love the spear. Yes. Yep. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Worth his call to me. Guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. 
Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Okay, I like the sound of that. There's another one? Stop pumpering around and smash that thing before more things come out! Right side, brother! Fuck! There are more of them. Incoming! Above you! Ah, shit! I didn't know there was a nest there, too. But we got it. I love this spear. Any more guesses, belt boy? Oh, all right. Gets bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? <laughs> because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Oh. Brock's having the time of his life. Yeah. Here we go. Them eyeballs are taking over this ground. We better beat them out. <laughs> Hold the lights in loud. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh man, should we? It's all about the proper angle with those puppies. You want it straight on. Alright, yeah, okay. Should we fuck with this portal? Why not? Good! Guess you get extra credit. Oh, here we go. One of Nicole's children. Oh, put you in the trap. Oh my god, it was a lindworm. Great! 
you got him. Oh, hello there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right, uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskr whenever you're ready. Okay, they're gonna give me stuff, good. Hell yeah. Oh, I can't believe we have a fucking spear. Favorite to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, very well. He's a sweet bird. Maybe those grim will take him down. Uh, nope. Get Teddy Wagner, you hope! This part of the game. <clears throat> yeah, wait, let's pick up this loot. Jewel of Yggdrasil. Nice. Light runic attack, a long range. A charge. Nice. I think we're good. I think there was- is there something right here? Yeah. Bee scraps. Alright. Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Upgradable. Yeah, let's do it! Oh, we're level five now. Nice. What was the one thing that, okay, emulate. Can I upgrade this? Yes, I can. We need to keep repairing that every time we get the chance. 
Of course. Oh, fucking course. There. There's your freaking your money, okay? Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it working and working. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't know he was gonna do that. So that's what these things are. And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Grok's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. But can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war. Do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands. On your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. That nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Freya XP, what? Pissing off her ex-husband gave Freya more, more power. 